You are listening to an All Games Radio Network broadcast of AllGames.com. Hi, this is Normie from Knuckleballer Radio and Zombie Cast, and you're listening to one of my favorite shows on the Geeky Antics Network. Don't forget to check out the rest of the gang over at geekyantics.net. Warning, there might be rants and food ahead and possibly inappropriate behavior. Don't tell anybody, though. Welcome, geese, gamers, furries, and ninja robots. This is Horseplay Live. Happy holidays. Yes, we're in the final stretch here. Gosh, 2017 is almost over. So this is our last show of 2017. Not forever. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're not going anywhere. Today is uh, th- actually Friday, December. I'm about to say Thursday. I'm so used to saying Thursday. Friday, December 29th. And this is episode 210 of Horseplay. We're going to tentatively title this one Holiday Halls and Gang Reunion. That's right, because tonight we have an old familiar face in the gang. That's the Geeky Ants Network Global, for those of you that are unfamiliar. And with no further ado here, we're going to introduce our old friend, Obi. What's up, bitches? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? Yeah, you, uh, you came in a good time. Uh, we're still celebrating over three years of doing this shit, and two hundred plus episodes, especially if you yep, count all yep. the lost episodes we have. <laughs> and, and I figured, you know, what's you know, like I said earlier, what what's you know, it's the last show of the year. I can make an appearance, and you know, people can hear this uh, this voice again. Yep, yep. And of course, the the number one question we should start off with is how long do you think it's going to take you until you stop writing 2017? <laughs> I mean, the good thing is a seven, a seven easily turns to an eight, at least when you're handwriting it, right? Right. Um, I've actually been doing 2018 um, already, so I'm actually uh, warming myself up prior. I started doing that uh, first of December, so I'm used to writing 18 already. So you just write checks, all, 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 the, all the bills you pay, you just write a 2018 thing. That's, Cash that's 2018. Thing. I don't write any of them. My wife does. <laughs> ah. That'd be funny. I wonder how many people are doing that. It's like, you got to wait 2018 for your money. Ha ha. Yeah, December 2018, right? Oh, my God. Yeah. That wouldn't be very fun. <laughs> uh, checks, a, a, a thing that's uh, slowly but surely disappearing. It's just funny how many places you go into that they have signs up. Hey, we do not accept checks. We no longer accept checks. I'm like, who's paying checks right. here? Like, you better be like the only the only place that I see accepting checks is like you. They'll accept a check, but you better be in the same town, like literally, not the same city, the same town. Well, like uh, supermarkets are a good example of a place to think it's bad to write a check. Because I, I get it, like, if you, you may not have the money right then and there, some places that work with you, like you can post date it, but, like, you're going to be that, that asshole holding up the line, right, filling out a check? <laughs> with, right. with how impatient people are these days? It's like, uh, I don't want to be that guy. Yeah, I won't, I won't do that anymore. I rarely go to the store only when I have to. Yeah, Sa- same here. Like, I'm in the south side now of Augusta. This is considered more the countryside. Some people, mm-hmm. some people, some pockets people consider, like, the ghetto. 
because all the developments going down to like the the west side of Augusta and downtown area. That's where they kind of concentrate all their money so they can catch up to Columbia County, Evans and Martinez and all the places where the more rich people live. And uh, right. it cracks me up now because uh, taking a 20 minute drive to the other side of town, I'm like, yeah, I, I try so much to stay on this side. We have our own, our own Walmarts on this side. You know, we got shopping strips, you know, tons of places to eat. It's not as as, as diverse, you know, and not that much to do at this side, but just to avoid that traffic and the way people drive like assholes, I'll just stay yeah, over Yeah, I, I live on a, like, a, I live now in a suburb, or no, well, not a suburb, a surrounding, well, I guess it's a surrounding town around outer Grand Rapids, right? So... I don't live on the lakeshore anymore, but I still live in there to where if I go, you know, a couple miles uh, east, like I'm, I'm into like traffic, like traffic that I don't like at all. Mm-hmm. That's how it is. That's why I, once you move to the burbs or just straight country, going back to the city is like, ugh, there's a reason I left this. <laughs> so... Little little I inside. Never, I never really lived in this straight like country. Uh, I mean, I grew up in the country, but it's it, it's kind of <laughs> like during the summertime. I worked on a farm. So, so like you know, I mean, I'm not a real small guy anyway. <laughs> I think if you're within uh, a reasonable driving distance from a farm, it's safe to say you're not uh, in the city. At least not in the heart yep. of the city. Oh, no. I have, like, small, like I said, I'm probably 10 to 15 miles now instead of 40, uh, right outside of Grand Rapids. Like, there's, uh, let's see, my city, uh, Hudsonville, there's Jenison, there's... Wyoming, there's all the other surrounding cities that are not in, you know, Maine, Grand Rapids. But to get to Grand Rapids, it's only like 15 minutes away. See, that's not a bad deal. 15 to what 20 minute drive, I think, is reasonable to get back to the city. Even maybe even a half hour. You know, because you, you figure the, the further away you are from the city, usually uh, it's it's safer better place to raise your family, et cetera, you know? Right. Closer you are to, like, uh, the big cities and, and mass transit, the, the worse the crime gets and you get more riffraff, you know? <laughs> yeah, we don't want that riffraff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, our downtown, they're really catering more to, like, the millennials, and um, it just cracks me up because it's just... A lot of trending boutique kind of shops, and uh... we have our fair share. But you got to remember, like the the city that I lived in, which was Holland, and you know that was that's like a tourist trap. So that's all they have is boutiques, and that's I mean it's you only that's all you have like retro, like not retro, but millennial boutiques and and different things that the kids now would want to go into, like. Uh, some of our shops up here have video game arcades in them because kids will go in there just to play those arcade games. They'll buy stuff, but they'll go in there just to play those arcade games. So, yeah, I thought, I've seen I've seen the the coin not machines kind of making a bit of a comeback in certain pockets out here, and I think did I I haven't checked in a while, but I think our local arcade is still open. The one that's at the mall, and then there's, there's another one that I haven't been inside in a while. I gotta double check, but yeah, yeah, it's still hopefully, there. Hopefully, here in the near future, we're gonna have some. You'll be seeing a lot more from me, not just only on the show, but on, uh, as in in general. You, know, I'll tell you, I'll tell you off show. How's that? <laughs> All right, now we got about a. 20, 20 minutes or so before War Child jumps in. Cool. So, uh, trying to, I'm looking through all the stuff that uh, I have planned for tonight. This is going to be basically our uh, Christmas 
recap, you know, talk about our holiday hauls, and then uh, maybe some New Year resolutions. Um, and maybe if we have time, do a little prelude to the Unicorn Poopies, our yearly award show. We won't go as long as we did last year. We're going to probably keep it to two or three episodes. Uh, and, yeah, and more video game like, focus. I, I, isn't that what I... <laughs> Isn't that when I like I I left the show was when you were doing those awards. Still. You left you no you left you 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 were there for the end of it I think. You can complain about it like ah oh, again I mean, we're gonna make it through this list damn it but every time we got to a category we went off on crazy tangents. <laughs> so we'll probably just f- focus more on uh, on the video games you know. I think we should. It makes more sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And, uh... it, it makes more sense to just focus on the video games. Maybe, you know, like, we're, we, of course, we're going to do Xbox. We're going to do PC. We're going to do PS4. We're going to do, you know, even if we do Nintendo or, you know, or something. Like, there's always... Yeah, I think I won't even bother having nominees. We'll just... Go around and just, uh, you know, depending how how the video games portion goes, we'll probably just talk about, you know, favorite TV shows, m- movie, et cetera, you know, just to cover all the all the bases. And I'm on an yeah, anime not kick have, again, not so... have 16 subcategories of the. <laughs> okay. I I had to do that because I, you know, like the, you look at the video game awards and their categories are so broad. I still hate that there's an action game category. And this year, you know, they had Prey, Neo, Cuphead, Destiny 2, Wolfenstein 2. But action is such a broad thing. Then they, but then they have a separate one, action adventure game. You know, I don't know. There's just, there's just so many different things like sports and racing. There's so many racing games alone. I don't feel it's fair to clump them together with sports games, but I get it. I don't know. Just, there's just so many fine details. You know, uh, I like to cover more of the niche things, you know, to give everybody a chance to, to shine. I think we did a good time with that last year, but uh, I get it. It, 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 it. It's too deep. <laughs> right. No, it's it was fine. It was just like it, it, it covered, like we covered way too much. Like, like we could have, we could have bundled three or four of those cat, you know, to, three or four of the topics in each category together i mean it, it was i mean it's all good but you learn you live i bet you won't <laughs> do that again <laughs> hey, it, it was a good social experiment hey we got some good discussions going so that's really what what I, it was meant to drive get people talking about things think, thinking about geeky stuff in different ways you know P- particularly right. the video games you know we always hear that people say oh Gaming's not what it used to be, but there's still a lot of variety out there if you look for it and you put in the time. It's just, you know, the, the big the big names rise to the top and then everything else gets buried. But there's still a lot of variety out there. You know, there's plenty of games. I don't have a problem where there's nothing to play. It's just finding the time to make, to, to really invest it, you know. And not right, make it well, be like a I chore. Mean, <laughs> you see what I'm playing right now, right? Not, uh, not just not just Rocket League. Oh yeah, it says Rocket but League. Like, I, like I'm playing Farm Sim, not Farm Sim, uh, Flight Sim. Oh yeah, I'm playing like hours and hours, and I do. That's my stream is. Like it's I, I like I've I tried it, and like you said, um, you said in the past, um, don't do the niche stuff because then people they're not gonna you know once you play something you actually want to play. They're gonna, um, they're gonna stop following you, and that's what happened. So it's it's I'm just playing stuff that I want to play. Now I got I'm in a I'm in like a couple of flight communities, man. Well, see that's the thing. Like I think um, it's all right to be a variety streamer. Just make sure you set that expectation from the beginning, because like um, you remember when I was really heavy into it, I played a lot of Soul Forge, and I still love that game. But that's one of the things I kind of became known for. And then when I was in the mood for other things. And then like, people just didn't want to. Didn't, yeah. They were like, why are you playing this game? Play yeah. Play, like, yeah, no. Yeah. 
And and that kind of crowds you to attract with certain kind of games, especially like a Soul Forge or Hearthstone. You can make the switch between those two because those are the kind of games where people will bust your chops if you played your hand wrong, or they're looking at your deck building like, man, that's a crap deck, you know. Or or you have people that give you positive feedback, you know, or you know, hey, kudos and stuff. But it's a different kind of crowd you would get if you're playing like you know a PUBG or Fortnite right. or something like that. Exactly. Like I'm playing like right now I'm doing um honestly just doing little like hops. I start in Grand Rapids, I'll go to Detroit, and then I'll go do a big money load from Detroit to Flint. Then I'll do another money load from Flint to Lansing. And then I'll go back to Detroit, do it you know, and then I'll jump Grand Rapids in there every now and then because I don't have a fast plane. It still takes me forty five minutes just to get across the state. I mean, I'm I was used to flying seven thirty seven, so and I've got the all the rudder pedals and the flag like, sticks. And oh, that's fun. I want to get track IR, so when I move my head, my head in game moves. But yeah, yeah, we'll see. Oh, that's, that's, that's good stuff. I, but that's what I enjoy. Like people laughed at me, and you know, because you were one of those people. Like when I was like, I love simulators. You're like, what? People no, laugh at I, me for playing simulators. I laughed because I didn't expect you to be the type. Because I'm, I'm a big simulator fan. Like I used to play the old submarine games. The what is it? U twenty two. See me. The simulators that you liked are not the simulators that I like. I, I play. Know it sounds weird. I play a lot of flight sims too. Well, you should get on and play some, run some Microsoft. Uh, yeah, Microsoft I, X. I that, buy it for yeah. Yogi. I haven't played the latest Microsoft flight simulators, like, but I have the flight stick. You know, that was one of my intentions. I remember we started. Christmas, I will give you a late Christmas present of fifty dollars. All right, you can well, buy the game for ten dollars, and then you can get Air Hauler Two for forty dollars, and then you. What well, do you remember when we when, we used to play? Uh, what was that freaking flight game we used to play that was pretty good? Um, War Thunder. War Thunder. There you go. Yes, I'm gonna be playing that too. Yeah, that's a good game. I'm just like right now, I'm in. I'm back into planes, and right now, that's what I'm streaming. If people don't like it, like yes, I, my Saturday stream is gonna consist of flying, of course, but it's gonna have later in the app because I'm starting trying to start early. Um, Saturday, which is tomorrow, I think. Yes, which is tomorrow. So, like, I'm getting up at seven o'clock, and and starting my my stream. See, you know what I want? I want. Now, I, I love the old like F fifteen and F twenty two games. I like the sixteen bit era. Those those are great. I put a lot of time into those. But my favorite flight games were like the space type games, and, and there's still a few that I, you know I play here and there. But I want uh, a game that's like a mix of Armada with the co-op. You can form your own squadrons. Mm -hmm. And then I want it to be like um, well, Wing Commander Prophecy. You had to have the double controllers and stuff and all that stuff to do that? Uh, oh, I know what you're talking about. You're, you're thinking... Uh, yeah, that has that. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 that... a new Star Wars game that's going to have that. Yeah, those are cool, like... See, that's a whole other thing because then you're, when you're talking about more complex vehicles, where well, you have the opportunity to say one yeah. person's the pilot and the other person's controlling like your your shields and your weapon systems and all this stuff. Like, um, and, and Atari early on at 2600, they had a game. I want to say it was called Star Raiders. I believe that was it. And it had a peripheral. It had one was a like a a, a numpad with different like you put a little overlay on it. And they had different buttons like shield controls and weapon controls and all this different stuff. And another thing was the actual um, flight control. And you you would need you know, um, someone someone to be a co-pilot so you could focus on you know you know either navigating reason, or or controlling <laughs> systems. I've done a lot of research. Sorry, sorry, hold on a second. I've done a lot of research lately um, because I'm so into flying right now. I was looking at, you know, just even um, even uh, like communities that you could get into. You could get with somebody. You could do the acquired training and the appropriate training for the specific plane that you want to do, such as like an Airbus or, or a 747, a 777. Um, you know, maybe do a mission that you're 
you're a pilot of Air Force One, so you're going to have to have multiple pilots. Um, and it, and, and do that. And it's so hard right now for some reason to actually have it to where the sync is good. Uh, that's the only problem that people have is the sync issues for most, for the most part. Is what that, and that's just to try to answer your question all right off the bat. Yeah, yeah, because there's so much stuff going on in those types of games. It's hard to get a real multiplayer experience. But if you adjust the scale of it, right, there's games that have done it. I'd be fine with like a five man squadron, you know? And just have like a small area to fly in and just have like um like a like a mothership that's releasing little tiny fighter ships, you know, and you're just blowing them out and trying to take out the big old ship, you know. Stuff like that, little scenarios. So you so you see so you want them to make a game called Independence Day. That's already out, sir. <laughs> no. The game I'm picturing more than anything is uh Wing Commander Prophecy. And this game was Yeah. Is really old. And they nailed it. That game was just ahead of its time. Like the battles in that game was amazing, and and all the um, the spaceships had shields, but they were directional directional shields. So, you know, if you could take out someone's front shield, the side shields, and all this stuff. I mean, it, that 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 shit was fun. Just the dogfight you had in there. Like, man, this would be so cool if I could fly with other friends and yeah, have like you, a little space battle. If you want to, I know you're busy with work and I know you're working a lot, which hey, congrats and kudos to that. Um but if you ha can find time sometime, let me know and we'll go do some some war thunder or something or something that we can, you know, go all right. I'll be your wingman. You know, let's go let's go have some shit up, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I got a few other flight games. I think um, and I have Endless Space, and I believe that has some multiplayer. Then there's Elite Dangerous. It's just Elite Dangerous is great, but like you That's need to commit not to that a game. game. For me, yeah, that is an MMO, and I can't do it. Yeah, that, sorry, it is. It's just like Destiny. You have that's to that's the farm. problem. You have to commit a lot of time to it to really get it, uh, enjoyment. Yeah, and I don't have that kind of time, and I don't have the I will hear shortly, but I don't have the type of controller, I guess, like the, um, what am I trying to think? You think, you, you think you're talking about the joystick? joystick. The, the, yeah, yeah. I don't have the proper joystick. Um, I'm going to get the Thrustmaster. Because you need the joystick that has the, um, the paddles built in. Right, but I have, I have, like, my, my, I have foot pedals. Mm. Like I said, I, when I fly, I have a, right now I have just a, a fighter pilot joystick. And then I use my keyboard for all my flaps and all that other stuff. Um, my, but I have rudder pedals, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, uh there's a lot of games that have different elements of what I want but nothing puts it all together so one day someone will I mean I think for a lot of folks um uh what was that game the one that did terrible No Man's Sky was gonna check off a lot of those boxes but that that was a disappointment <laughs> yeah good luck it didn't check off nothing just saying yeah. so anyway did you, did you get any uh good holiday hauls you should just jump into that. What what you what your haul um, was for Christmas? I didn't. I didn't really ask for anything specific. I I basically I basically got gift cards and stuff like that. Like I asked for. Yeah. I didn't. I don't ask for anything because nobody. I can tell people what I want, but one thing is like too much. Yeah. So I have to. Um, I have to just say, well, here, just get me a twenty-five dollar gift card, and I'll whatever I get this Christmas. That's I'll put it towards that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Uh, that doesn't fly with us very well. Like the, the when we do that for Christmas, I, it's like everybody's like, oh, and it feels like less magical, I guess. So you know, my better half insisted, you know, 
everybody asks specifically for what they want. I'm like, but that ruins the surprise. You know, because I'll just tell them, oh, well, you know, if, if, ever, if, if all else fails, you know, something Lego or Star Wars or Doctor Who related is usually a safe bet. You know? <laughs> but yeah, she's but like, no, tell me something though, specific right? or something retro. Right. And she's like, no, tell me something specific. I'm like, ah. Right, but that's, 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 that's such a broad spectrum. I mean, no offense, but I'm agreeing with your wife right, at, at this one. It's, it's one of those things where I could get Missy some cool stuff. But the kind of stuff that I like that I think she might like, she doesn't like. So I know I'm like, you know, I'll get hints. Well, see, I'm not, I'm not picky thing. though. That's the thing. I'll appreciate even a I'll little dude dads. I'll get hints in, in, you know, I'll get hints in July, saying, you know, hey, uh, so what do you, what do you think you want for Christmas this year? You know, and she'd be like, well, I don't know, I need a new such and such. Oh, okay. Well, if you think of anything else that you, you know. You kind of got your eyes on, don't even know, because basically in, I think, July or August, it's one of the two. I think, no, actually, it's September. Yeah, just after the summertime, we don't buy anything else for the rest of the year. If we need something, we'd say, hey, I, I'd like this for Christmas. And if we can't get that for Christmas, then it's, 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 you know, then we'll get it at some point later on, but. Yeah. Yeah, usually if you could be disciplined enough to do cut that cut things off like that September August, then you're sitting pretty because then, you know, you have a nice big Christmas instead of just getting, you know, like the older you get, it's like you get one or two big gifts, right? Like you don't spend necessarily spend less money, you just get less gifts, you know. Especially when your kids grow up, it's like, you know, when they're young, you get them a bunch of little things, right? When they get older, they want these bigger extravagant things. Like, well, that's going to break the budget for you, <laughs> you know? So it's just right, funny how that changes. You, I mean, basically, when you have kids, your, your budget goes from, you know, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend a grand on my baby this year. Um, nope, I'll spend $200 and everything else goes to camp. Or, you know, whatever. Yeah. Yep, yep. Well, you know, uh, I, had, I had a good haul. It was actually a lot of, a lot of diversity this year. A lot of times what ends up happening is we'll, get, we'll end up having a theme, and everything revolves around that theme, right? So I'm like, I wonder what other Doctor Who thing I'm going to get. Hmm. But this year I got uh, Atari Flashback 8. And, man, let me tell you, the, those games still hold up so well. Ah. And I made sure that, you know, I asked for the one that had the wire controllers because I don't want to do a Wi-Fi and then there being lag time. Because on those games, if you have any kind of lag, they're gonna, it's going to fuck you up big time. Right. Um, but they, they nailed the, 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 the translation of those games. The other thing, they, 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 apparently the Deluxe was sold out, so I didn't get the paddles, which you need for games like Circus and whatnot, and Kaboom. But other than that, uh, so much fun. And it was cool, like, sharing that. With the younger ones and saying, hey, this is what I grew up playing. And they're like, whoa. And they actually got into it. Like, oh, wow. I didn't think, you know, they would they would dig it as much, you know. It's just simple fun, you know. And a lot of replay value. And we are playing the shit out of Frogger. Oh, boy. <laughs> it became a competition there. Like, let's see who could break the high score. So it was a really good time. And it's neat, too, because it'll, it'll actually save your high scores for, for each game. Um, so that's, 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 that's fun. It's like having a little mini arcade. Um, got a bunch of video games, of course. Uh, I got Surge, which is really underrated. Uh, Worms Battleground, uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2, Call of Duty World War 2, which I'm surprised I actually really enjoy. <laughs> uh, Sonic Forces, I know there's some other stuff, but those are like the main ones. So uh, like, did you get to that on Xbox? Yeah, all on Xbox, yeah. Oh snap! Oh, you got you got Call of Duty. I got Call of Duty World War Two on Xbox. Oh, okay. We we'll have to play me, you, and my son, and uh, a couple of guys at the, at work play too. I gotta I gotta hook up with them, so we could probably get some good game nights going. Um, got like I got a nice little Star Wars uh, mug set, you know, which is great for me because I love coffee, and then during this time, hot cocoa. So that's gonna get some good use. I got um, one of those. I got one of those uh, can't like uh, those thermos cups. 
Oh, can't yeah. ha- they can never have enough enough of those. <laughs> well, no, that it's it's like perfect. It's like it keeps my hot my coffee hot, and then it keeps my my like my stuff cold if I need if I use it cold. Like it keeps it cold for hours. I made a cup of coffee, right, and I made it at eight o'clock in the morning, and it was hot still at three o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, is it like a Yeti? It's whatever it is. It's a big honking cup. Yeah, it's probably a Yeti or the Ozone Park, uh, Ozark Park, or the uh, I got the Thermos one. They're pretty much all the same thing. But yeah, those are great. But that is, it's huge. Like it's a huge. Like it takes. It's two Keurig things at ten cups a piece. I don't think it, a Keurig is really ten cups, but um, but it's it's two of them. I have to do two of them to fill it up, and it lasts all day. Yeah. Yeah, I think, uh, I'm trying to think now. Typical Keurig for the Utah, the big, the big sharing with Keurig, I think is, I want to say it's 10 ounces. No, it might be a little more than that. I can't remember. I think, depending which one you have, they, it, it'll go up to like 20 something. So you well, probably got the one that'll take two of those. I don't know what, what we're talking about, really. <laughs> Um, no, well, like I, the, the cure cups. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you, you talk about it making two separate cure cups. cups, right? It, it goes up to 10 cups, you know, where you can put it in a coffee cup. Right. Well, well you have, you have a cure that makes a whole pot. Cause 10, 10 cups, cups. That's, that's a pot of coffee. Well, that's what it says on there. Um, honestly, it's probably, probably. F- I don't know. It's one coffee cup, a big coffee cup, like one of the big ceramic ones that you see, like you know. You can yeah, yeah. On or- I know what you got. You got you got the big boy. You got the big boy. I know exactly what you're talking about. Those are great. I got the smaller one. I got the one that's half the size, just because I'm too impatient to make two separate batches. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, one is fine, because I'll have you know, especially for work. I'll have my one cup at home before I go to work, and then I and then if I need the extra pick me up, I'll, I'll take one in the therm in the thermal. So that's how I roll. Uh, uh, one thing that I got that was pretty neat is I I was I always uh, would tell my wife that when I was young, there was always this train set I had my my eye on. Uh, remember the old uh, Lionel uh, train sets? Really extravagant ones were like super expensive, mm-hmm. and I right. I always came close to getting one, and for whatever reason, it something would always come up, and I'd end up getting something else instead. Um, they, they'd be sold out, or you know, the store that had it shut down, you know, shit like that. It was like it was what it, it, it wasn't in the cards, so I'll play with like a cousin's train set or whatever. Right. But as she remembered that, you know, and then I guess she saw she saw one and she bought me a, a train set. So this weekend we'll probably put together with the with the little ones and play with that. Because the nice. la- last weekend just got away from us. It was like Jesus, so, so many things were going on and running around like a chicken without a head. And the next thing you know, it's like, oh, back to work. Where, how did we get here? <laughs> so yeah, last week went fast. I thought it was gonna, I was going to dread it because usually it takes forever to get through the holidays. Oh no! I got one more. I got one more. That's it. <sighs> one I more t- this year. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I tell you, I, I took an extra day off because we don't get too many paid holidays, so I took Tuesday off. Um, the hourly people tend to get more days off because. They go off of the schedule for the facility they work in, but since I'm part of the corporate team, if any if any of our facilities are open, I'm working. You know, <laughs> that's Ooh. the only part that sucks. But on the flip side, some sometimes when uh, a facility shuts down, the hourly people don't get paid. Like this, they get they have unpaid time off. So you know, it's not always PTO; it's UTO. That that part sucks for them. If the customer decides to shut down a production line or, or they're not receiving or shipping anything or they don't need us to assemble anything or whatever it is that they hired us to do, then, you know, 
they send them home early, you know, or shut down the next day or whatever. So, like, this week in, in the building I work out of, where my office is at, the the guys got, like, a paid for three days. That's how, That kind of sucks, you know? So you get a time off, but it's like, damn, I could have used extra hours. <laughs> yeah. So I, I felt bad for them. Like, a few guys uh, got caught in today, but they only worked till like, noon. <laughs> So, unfortunate, but that's what happens. But on the flip side, you know, it goes both ways, right? Because people say that, oh, well, when you're salaried and you work a lot of hours, you actually end up making less per hour. It's like, well, you can't really think about it that way. Because with salary, you have a lot more wiggle room, you know, with the hours you work, when you come in, when you leave. You know, you can work from home, depending on what you do, you know. Hourly, you got to... Get punch punch your card, punch your card. <laughs> so it's pros and cons. Anyway. What did you get anything else for, for Christmas? I got a bunch of I got a bunch of little stuff. I don't really I got gift cards. I got uh with the gift cards, I got a set of uh, a new set of A forties. Ah, you're big my... you're still big on the Astros, huh? I do. I I, That's I, bay. I, I, I really like them. No, they are really good. I um the last headset I bought a couple months ago was a Steel Series, and I like it a lot. the The only complaint I have about it is proprietary connections. One of my pet peeves. I like shit that has standard hookups, optical, one eighth stereo connection. You know, shit like that. When they start having little weird proprietary shit, it's like ah, now if this shit goes bad, I have to order the special parts from you. You know. Because Turtle Beach is notorious for that. Uh, I expected a little better from Steel Series, but the build quality is amazing in it. And they and they're like um, ski style, so they got the little like harness, so they're sitting your head just right. It's pretty dope, and it's got the little stowaway microphone, so if you're not using the mic, you just put it away. It's not in your way. Oh, nice. Yeah. No, I I I like. I mean, I like all that other stuff, but I'm just I'm using what I know right now um i know astro astro's always been good to me uh turtle beach can suck a big left nut i agree i will never <laughs> i will never ever uh use them dudes again like they're just they're trash they always will be i don't care if i get if they go hey we want to sponsor you i know I they, they, they were sponsor. great they were great once upon a time but then they took the number one spot they build up that brand and they stop trying anymore. That's that's the problem. And and Razor, I hate to say it, Razor's kind of heading in the same direction. I don't know if you do any work with them, but I'm just putting that out there. Uh, my my mouse is Corsair. I don't I don't Razor like dude. I go Corsair most ninety nine percent of the time. I go Cors Corsair and Logitech. Yeah, I'm with you. I uh, in fact uh because Corsair has my my mice and they have headsets they have uh controllers they have er or not controllers but logitech has everything else the corsair keyboards keyboard. the Go corsair ahead. keyboards i will not sleep on them i got the um, rgb entry level one they got at entry level they have what most people offer for their mid mid range or high range which is crazy and it's it, it has a great feel to it. The only thing it doesn't have is the what do they call that shit? The cherry. You know, talking about it, have the, the, someone that had the actuator, this, uh, the cherry pick or whatever they call it, where it's um, instead of using a dome, it's a more it's a shorter travel time, more precise, and it lasts longer. You know what I'm talking about? And when you get that in the keyboard, it adds like another fifty, eighty bucks to it. I don't want to have no idea what you're talking about right now, bro. Let me let me look it up. It's called Cherry something. Where what's it what's it do on your keyboard? So you know how most keyboards have either the mechanical response, yeah. right? Or they have the dome. And that's why that's what that's what um you know, gets the input and sends it through the circuit. Um So oh, yeah. so now this what the, a lot of the keyboard manufacturers do, they have this thing called Cherry. Yeah, this is a. Uh, oh, I know what you're talking about. I have a dome. Yeah, I got the uh, GS 
Give me a second. I had the G G510. G510, I'm trying to remember. See, I was looking at that one, I think. Yeah. Well, I think actually... I, I don't like it. Because I don't use the G keys. Yeah. That's the big sell on that. I don't the I macros. Don't really care. I don't I don't macro anything. Yeah. I could care less. I'm trying to think. I'm pretty sure that has the cherry. The little screen on that is cool. Yeah, I have the, you know, time and you know what if I'm playing CSGO, it'll give me my kills. If I'm playing League of Legends, it'll give me my CS and if I have an you know, whatever, it'll give me all of my information. Um Rocket League, I mean it'll it'll display if I have any, you know, it'll display my 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 scores. It'll give me my score, goals, assists, saves, shots. Um War, War Overwatch, it does all the same thing. Like any game that I play, it gives me a scoreboard, which is great. Yeah, that's really cool. I like that. Yeah, I was really close to to pulling the trigger on that, but I think this time around I just wanted something simple. Cause like you, like you, like you said, I don't really take advantage of it, but I was surprised that this has the G keys. Actually, the Corsair is very similar to Logitech. I would not be surprised if it's a Logitech based keyboard. And they just put a, the Corsair name on it. Um, um, I, well, I don't know about that, but um, Logitech has been treating me fairly well lately. So I'm trying actively trying to get a, a sponsorship from them to you know get a new flight stick and new you know you know get all the new stuff. Yeah, I like Logitech. They, their their game pads are also really good. They always have a good feel to them. They don't they never, they never feel cheap, you know. Well, the game pads that are um, stitched on the end, like the like the DX Racer one I got, I got a DX Racer one because I got one with my chair, and um, it uh, it the mouse pad, it's probably an eleven by, you know, eighteen or eleven by twenty or something like that, you know, yeah, twenty one, um, and it's stitched on the ends, which makes it really really nice. The only thing you do is just don't spill stuff on it. Oh no! I made a gamepad like a uh, controller. <laughs> oh my! Like, I was like, "Stitch controller." Now you put me out to something. <laughs> like this controller is handmade and and knitted by an Asian woman with tiny hands for pre extra precision. I'm like, "Oh, okay." Dude, you probably just gave someone a, a really big idea out there, though. Like, hmm, controllers with stitching. Interesting. Yeah. Why is this going to be a thing? <laughs> we're going to laugh about it now, and I'm going to be like, damn it, why didn't we just mm -hmm. patent that? Think about it. It could work. It could work. So, what else? You got yeah. anything else? Just, you know, basically just gift cards? Um, I mean, yeah, basically just gift cards. Um, I got a new wallet. Um, I'm getting a new watch. It didn't uh, mine the watch that I was gonna get. Um, uh, before they shipped it, a day before they shipped it or something like that, they they went out of stock and but they didn't send us an email for it. Ah, oh, that sucks. You rock uh sports watches or you just go with traditional? Um, right now I have two uh, that I'm probably gonna be getting. Uh, it's uh one's like a, it's flat black, uh it's like ultra thin. It's basically like a dress watch. Yeah. And then I like I like the uh I guess I guess yeah you said sports watches or military style watches. Yeah. That have yep. the, you know, multiple counters and multiple, yeah, you know a real good watch. Um, and I like the ones that are thing. hybrid. I like the ones that are hybrid, like military style, but also with. You know, you had a little bit of digital. You had the digital and the analog together. You know what I mean? Those are really neat. You like you like big face watches, or you prefer like more of a small one? Uh, yeah, I like big face watches. Yeah, me too. Now, do you like it more square or, or round? Round. Yeah, most most people seem to like round. Square is tricky. You can't always get it to 
to blend with what you're wearing. <laughs> yeah, it's it's got to be square's got to be something you know like exact like you got to be doing you know you got to it's a square I think my in my eyes square is more for a dressy watch. Um the 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 big the glass or the black watch that I was going to get um was square. It was square black, it was ultra thin. Um really nice so but i'm just gonna go with the sports watch and stuff like that um got a new personalized wallet um see a40s good a good wallet what else you know it's funny when you're young you hate well, getting a wallet wallet. for christmas I, right but right, a good wallet a, is is a, is a hard thing to come by <laughs> yeah you ain't lying um i have a uh i have a clip wallet and it has like it says Obi on it. Oh, like a just like a, just like a money clip. Like you know, like it's clip, it's money clip, and it's got a couple pockets, and you know. Like yeah, a just like a, a low profile yeah. kind of wallet. Yeah, yeah, I have one of those, and it's got on the on the on the clip part it says Obi, like it it's personalized and everything. Oh, and then cool. she finally got me a trifold. Because yeah. I was just, I was talking about it one day. I, like, Man, I, I have money. to do trifold. I try to do bifold. I try to do money clip. I just carry too much shit on me, and I try and I, and I dump a lot of shit and I pull a lot of sh- you know this you know I cut up a lot of cards and stuff that I don't use anymore. But you know, I have to have a trifold. So like the one I have now is really nice because it's got um it's got a little, little like little man purse in it for change. It's got uh, three compartments where the where your bills and maybe business cards and stuff would go. Then it's got a different um, display windows for for IDs and and, uh, and stuff like that. And then it's got tons of slots for for credit cards. And I'm surprised it all fits in there with without being a mess. And like it still has room inside of there. It, it's probably the best wallet I ever had. It even has like a little hidden zipper to like hide a spare key or some shit. Yeah. I think it's I think it's made by Cabana with a K. Check it out on Amazon. That that thing is sexy. And it's got the the ring for a chain too if you want to rock the chain. <laughs> I don't know if you're super fascinated or distracted. <laughs> you pick. Uh, now, um, I'm gonna I, go fascinated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's 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 what I was gonna say too. Um, you, it's it's one of those things where I, I wallets to me, I really don't care. They don't they don't do much for me except for hold my money when I want them to. That's it. Uh, that's when I have money. Like, yeah, I mean, I'm a guy, man. Yeah, but you know. When you get a, a wallet as a gift and it breaks apart, you feel kind of bad, you know? It's like, well, I didn't last. Like, I've gone oh, through I so many wallets. Tell him, I tell him, I'd be like, dude, your wallet is a piece of shit. Like, straight up. <laughs> like, where did you get that wallet? I got it from here. Well, you hear, you need to take it back, and I'll show it to him. <laughs> well, yeah, it's like, like all the fun wallets, like, say, in, uh, like, a Spencer's or Hot Topic. You know, they're cool because they have different kind of cool designs, but... They're meant now, for people are, that carry like very little shit on them, you know, and, yeah. and and don't weigh anything. If you put it in your back pocket and you sit in it all the time, like yeah, you know, you gotta they gotta take a certain degree of beating. It, it see, I have my own my own thing, I guess. It for me, like sometimes I'm like I'll go a a bifold, right? You know, one of those big uh big wallets that you would see in like the westerns that they pull out of their pocket with a big old wad of cash in it yeah you know one of those um <laughs> uh and then i'll get it to where i'll be like okay it's not winter time no more and i'm wearing shorts all the time i need a money clip so then i'll get my money clip like i have six wallets and why she bought me a, a brand new trifold because she personalized it so like you know, she has an Obi on it. Like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I didn't realize I like that. It doesn't take much to do, but like, it's, it's not, and it's not expensive or anything, but just the thought that she actually wanted to personalize it for me. Yeah. 
And I got a a wallet for every occasion. I do. I have my big bifold. I have a um you know, bifold that you know can hold a checkbook and all that other stuff of good leather really, you know, like it's like a sixty dollar wallet, straight mm-hmm. leather. Yep. Um and then I have a good two good uh trifolds that are heavy leather. And then I have my black and brown leather money clip. I have like five or six of them. Yeah, I got a few wallets ro- rolling around, but I usually stick to one unless I have a very specific affair and the fat wallet doesn't work. <laughs> See, I, my back is so weird. Um, now that it, it constantly burns all the time. It's, so it's one of those things where I'm, I'm just trying to get comfortable because I sit all the time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, my wallet's never in my pocket or when I'm at home. Yeah. Be. And a lot of us dudes have the bad habit of keeping it in our back pocket and driving with it in there, sitting on it in there. Like, that's one thing. If it, you know, It's funny. I was never a wall in the back pocket kind of guy until later in my life. So now I have to remind myself to, like, for, if I'm sitting for a long period, I'm going for a long drive or sitting down, you know, in a chair for a long time. I remember to take it out of my back pocket and set it aside somewhere. Cause yeah, that could fuck you up after a while. But uh, oh, it does. It does. I, I, I hurt all the time, and I and I and I've driven more lately. Uh, in 2017, I've driven more, you know, to events and stuff like that, and and doing stuff with TSE. But it's one of those, one of those, th- one of those things where I'm, I just don't even think about it because I know every time I get in the car, my back's so shot, I have to take my wallet out. Yeah. I don't care if I'm feeling good or not. If if I don't take it out, I'm gonna feel it 20 miles down the road, and then my back's gonna hurt the rest of the time. Yeah, people think I'm weird because uh, I I like to drive with my seat upright, almost completely straight. But to me, for a long period, it's more comfortable because it, it keeps me in a good posture, and two, it keeps me alert. Right? Mm-hmm. I don't get how people like put their seat all the way back and drive like that. Like that's you barely can see over your dashboard. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. It's me being an old man. But, um, so I thought it'd be fun to revisit an old topic. And I guess, I, I guess, what time is it? Oh, yeah, I, I guess uh, Warchild not joining us tonight. So we'll have to catch him up next week. But I thought, you know, since we're, we're uh, two days away or so from the new year, 2018, we could talk about New Year resolutions. But around the theme of cleaning out the fridge. So what I mean mm. by that is the fridge is when you have a shit a, t- a shit ton of games installed on your gaming console, PC, whatever. And it gets to a point where you have to start uninstalling shit to make room for other shit. <laughs> so do, do, do you have a fridge like that able to clean out? Nope, I had just done it. Oh, uh, you're lucky. So this won't be as fun for you. Well, all right. So maybe not for cleaning out the fridge, but are there any kind of games that you would want to revisit to either complete them or because you haven't played them in a while, anything like that? Um, I've said a couple of them. Uh, one that, you know, it doesn't matter if they pay, pay or not. But uh, War Thunder is another one. Uh, one. Um, it's one of those things where I kind of fell out of the aviation side of everything um war thunder um playing more you know i just broke out the flight sim again um so i mean if that tells you anything i just did it um let's see uh, <laughs> i don't really know i don't really keep up on what i have i just know what i'm playing right now <laughs> well that, that's that like to be honest like uh Whenever I start up Steam and I look at all the games I have, I'm like, oh my god, I want to play all of these games, but I don't even know where to start. And it just becomes so overwhelming. I'm like, ah. Oh. And it's just thinking about it. It's like, I really need just like weeks or months of dedicated time to really make a dent in this stuff. 
And I don't want it to become a chore because then it's not fun anymore. But just on the Xbox side, for the fridge cleaning purposes, uh, at the top of the list is Sunset Overdrive. I, I, I really feel like I'm on the home stretch. I guess I'm like in one of those levels where it feels like a victory lap. Like I'm pretty much done with the game. So I just need to fire the game up and get it done. So I can, you I, know, uninstall the game and make room on my hard drive. <laughs> I honestly... I honestly played probably 20 minutes of that game and never played it again. Um, it's an acquired taste. I, I love it. I really love the game. Right, right, right. No, and I'm not saying you can't love the game, but uh, I... The one game on probably Xbox that I'm probably going to re-download and, and do a playthrough uh, is Assassin's Creed. Which one? <laughs> uh, I think three. Three was in one I never I never beat. Oh, away. okay. You're talking about the one with... Uh, the one that everybody hates. Something Connor. They, they called that Assassin's Creed the third. I mean, the third. Yep. Yeah. That's the one with, I forget the name of his character, his character but something, I was going to say John Connor, but that's uh, Terminator, but it's something Terminator Connor. Tool. Yeah, I know, I know. Something Connor. But, uh, yeah, you know, I started playing that one. I, it was it was good. You know, the, the problem with, with Assassin's Creed, if you're not really in the mood for it, it just drags on. But when you're mm. in the mood for it, it's super fun, you know? But it's like, Right, well, I mean, it's going to have to, it'll be, it'll be something that I... I basically do a, a series, like not a series of, but I like, I'm playing it today. I'm playing it tomorrow. I'm playing it. You know, I, I'm going to play it and stream it until I'm done. Like until I pass it. So like, if I keep failing, I mean, Hey, that's just my fault. Um, I, all the other Assassin's Creed games that I had, cause I mean, I stopped buying them after a while. I mean, just, it was like once or twice a year another game came out like i didn't have that kind of money so it's i still want to play black flag i still want to play you know the other things yeah i, I i'm actually on the same boat with you like i at the very least i want to go back to black flag um i kind of want to beat revelations that i really did enjoy that's the last one that's the last game in the Ezio trilogy and i really do enjoy him as a character um, but you know, I would love to be, be all of them. I think I'm pretty close to beating unity, but again, cleaning out the fridge. I think I, I'm not going to get back to this anytime soon. So it, it got cut, but black flag, um, if, if any of, if any of them, that's the one that everybody talks about being so good, especially with the ship combat. I'm like, Oh, that's something fun. Right. Yeah. It's, um, let's see uh, what else on Xbox. I'd have to turn on my Xbox to see what I haven't played in a long time. <laughs> I'm curious about maybe playing some more Rainbow Six Siege. I haven't played that in a year almost. Yeah. I mean, I still got the season pass. It's already season three now. So you got a new season pass. <laughs> but I still, I only got one character from the last season. That's when I quit. That's when I, no, not even one character. I have them all. I just, I don't have them all. If you get to see in the past, you get all of them. Yeah, yeah, but I, I don't, I don't, I haven't seen them. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know. What oh yeah, yeah, you haven't played that long. Yeah, yeah. And this season, for season three, they're gonna have uh, their own zombie style mode. So that's gonna be pretty cool. They keep, they keep, uh, they keep uh, U Ubisoft. <clears throat> People can rag on them as much as they want, but the constant content updates they do for their games, the, the devotion they have to the community, even on the division, you know, uh, and, and Ghost Recon Wildlands. And Ghost Recon Wildlands, so the division got a free content update, a massive update for free. No, you don't need to buy a pass or anything, right? So that's revitalized that community. And then Ghost Recon Wildlands, they added uh, the Predator as an encounter you can have in the open world. I'm like, that's cool as shit. A little thing like that. Keeps keeps the game fresh, you know. Mo most True. most of the other studios, like yeah, if we can't monetize it, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, That's just how people are. They they want to make their money, dude. That's just how it is. Yeah, you know, it's it's a balancing act. I think you have to give people a reason to come back to begin with, and then you wet their palate. And then if you give them something extra and they really think it's worth it, then they pay for it, you know? That's the way it should be. Yeah. Can't nickel and dime. But um, another one that's on my list uh, is Dead Rising 4. I think yep. I could probably easily binge through that and just get it done. You know, it's a, it's a fun game. I'm, I'm not going to say I, it's, like, on the top of my list. I like the multiplayer a lot. But I think once I beat this campaign, I'll probably uninstall it for a while unless someone says they want, they're want they in the mood to play the co-op because the, the multiplayer is really fun. But I don't know a lot of people that, that are doing it. Um, Doom. I love this game. It was one of my favorite games last year. One of my favorite games this year. Still haven't beaten that game because it's just so freaking hard and it gets my blood pressure up. But I, I need to just freaking man up and, and get that shit done. So hard, huh? Yep. Super, um, super yeah, hard. no, Doom Doom is something that I, 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 I'm looking at your list. Doom is one of those games that I kind of want to go back and play too. But, and, it, and that's the same with Gears of War 4. I kind of want to go back and play it just to do the campaign mode, to, you know, just to get it going and has, say I've played it. Uh, but with the, I'm not saying they're exactly the same, but Gears of War 4 and Doom have the same mechanic to where they just the screen just whips you around everywhere and that just it makes me sick like i cannot i can't focus i can't play the game like i miss shots i die a lot like i'm just done well that see I that's the thing uh freaking uh doom is the worst for that it's far worse than gears because doom is just non-stop action and and really what you're doing most most of the time in that game is running circles because you can't hide and cover like you can in Gears of War. You have to constantly stay in motion. and It's tiring. <laughs> it's fun, but, but it's tiring. Player, a co-op action for that. See, like, uh, most of these games, I would play with you, dude. Like, I would be all over it. But I don't want to play it by myself. Like, I'm just, I can't. I play a couple games right now on PC by myself. Um, I'll, you know, I'll play anything by myself, but like specifically by myself, I play Gold Rush, the game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah like I play that, like I play that. I I, I forgot I, about it, that shit. Would, would that be game be awesome if we could get in some kind of multiplayer mode to where, you know, you can run the excavator, somebody else can run the dozer, somebody else can run the, you know, and we could be constantly making or putting pay dirt in like kind of like they do on the show. Yes, that would be awesome, but they're not going to do that. Not for a while, anyway. Yeah. Well, then I didn't really want to play it. Yep, yep. Um, the next one on my list is a doozy, and it's Dragon Age Inquisition. That 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 game is massive, and 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 I'm really enjoying it, but I also kind of want to just play it. Just to spite people that said it's really bad and not worth finishing. Because I still haven't gotten to the part where people say it's bad. Uh, apparently, I'm an hour or two out from that point. So I need to get at least get that far and see if it's really true that the game completely falls apart. But so far, which, I've been super enjoying it. Which game it. is it again? Dragon Age Inquisition. Yeah, I played it. And what would you say, about an hour, hour and a half? Mm, did, we, did, we, did we play the... Was it you that yes. I played the multiplayer with? Yes. And then you never came back. That was I fun. You playing it. it that was, was fun. fun but like that, it was like the few times that we played, I was like, sweet, this is cool. I have somebody to play this with. And like we played it, started playing it, and you're like, okay, hey, we're going to do this. And then we never got another thing to do or never, never another night to play. And then so I played more into it. Did you say an hour, about an hour, hour and a half into the game, you said people are calling it? Oh apart. no, no, no! I, I, I'm saying I'm, I'm about an hour and a half from the point where people say it's really bad. Cause I've put, a, I, I don't know, I had, to, if I had to yeah. put a number, I put at least 25 hours into the campaign. There's somewhere I don't want to say in the middle, about 75 percent in. It does. If you can get through the fall apart, like if you can get through it, it gets better at the end. Did you beat it? 
I, that's all I'm gonna say. How far? So, like, if you how how I'm long? Not telling you shit. Well, how long did I'm, it take you to beat it? Cause I'm a, I, I I would have to say if I'm at least 30, 40 hours in, I would say I put a lot of time into that shit. Oh, uh, I take things really slow, so you can't really tell. Like it took me like eighty hours, but I do everything. So I'm probably about halfway, cause. Cause I, I I I'm doing everything too. Like I'm checking every nook and cranny and doing all the side quests. Maybe ninety, somewhere in there. You're okay. probably about halfway through, and another probably twenty five to thirty hours. You're gonna be like, oh my god, what the flying? F- Why is this happening? This doesn't make any sense. But if you can get through it, the ending, you know, eighty percent on to a hundred percent complete gets really good. To me, yeah. I, I definitely got to put some more time into that game. I, I'm really curious to see how it progresses. And I, and it's one of those things where I need to keep playing at least a little bit because if not, if I go completely cold and I go back into it, I'm like, what was I doing again? And that's the worst thing. That's the, bad, that's the worst thing about role-playing games. So I need to, I need to get back in there. The, the next big one for cleaning out the fridge is Dark Souls 2. But uh, the bosses, one. huh? Why'd you erase one? Oh no, I just moved it, cause the top no. few are for cleaning out the you fridge. You took it away. No, I didn't. Oh, there it is. Yeah. You spaced it. Yep. No, I'm talking about the division. Go ahead. Keep going. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, yeah, the division. I moved it down because I don't think I'll be removing deleting that one from my hard drive i want to keep it around just because it's a good game to jump back into anytime but um dark souls 2 i want to beat that and then just clear up the space for that at least for the time being and then the next one is uh, mass effect andromeda i want to at least beat the campaign on that but i kind of want to keep that around just for like the multiplayer i also like the multiplayer on there so i don't know but like gears of war 4 that's a freaking 95 gig game or something like that. Yeah. I'm like, Jesus. Yep. I still have it, but I just, I'm probably getting ready to, that's one of those games where I'm getting ready to just, uh, unless, unless, now wait, unless I can get, there is multiplayer campaign mode in that. Unless I can get somebody to play it with me. But other than that, dude, I'm not, I don't want to play, like, I'm, those kind of games, if I have somebody to kind of back me up and do it, we can work together and finish the whole game, that's fine. But me doing it solo, I could We got doing... close, we got close to the end of that game, could we get up to, did we get up, I think it's 10 chapters, we got up to chapter 7 or something like that? Yeah, but I uninstalled it already. Oh, okay. I have it, I can get it back. But we did have to start over, and like, if we're gonna do it, like, well, no, like, your your save is kept on the cloud now. So we, you pick up where you left off, and that's fine, dude. That's it'd perfectly be perfectly fine. It'd be so shitty right. if you uninstalled a game and then you lost your save too. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, that'd be but terrible. No. Yeah, all that's just cloud save now. Not like the 360. It was the 360 when they started doing that. If you didn't pick cloud save and you uninstalled the game and deleted your save data, mm-hmm. that started all over. Ah, oh, so painful. I always check cloud save, and then it went away, so I didn't think they had it anymore. Yeah, now now it's uh, it's I think it's, I think it's mandatory now. Yeah. Yeah, it's all automatic. I do agree with some of the ones that uh, you put on here down here. I'm gonna put this one um, too. Uh, for me, uh, here I'll let you say them, but the we already said division. The division, that's just a game that I got into, and then I lost everybody. Like everybody, just kind of, <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'm serious. Like the I I played the division, Rainbow Six Siege, and one other game with all you guys, you and all your friends, and then I quit for like a week, and then everybody left, and I was like, well, I just might as well quit. Period. <laughs> like you didn't play it ever you didn't and i was like god damn dude what the hell and then you you know because you got your your good job and so you had to be gone more you know you i was like dude what the hell <laughs> where's everybody yeah i haven't been getting in the so gaming time and and, and and everything fell apart when me not being there like jesus <laughs> well i had uh basically well, it's because everybody wanted to play with you, and then you basically, they tolerated people like me, because I wasn't <laughs> good. 
you were actually good. They were good. I was just being along for the carry. Hey, maybe I might kill somebody, but I'm mostly I would die and just then watch. And oh, God. That. I'm and probably... as soon as you left, they're like, oh, my God, cut the weight. <laughs> Obi's gone. I'm probably terrible now. I used to be clutch. Now I'm going to be like a choke artist. <laughs> <sighs> probably. Um, but uh, Division for me is one of those games that I just don't know if I can, even if it, even if me and you did it, and we said, okay, hey, every other week on Saturday we're gonna play division. Okay, cool. You know, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. That still wouldn't be. That means I would have to take time away from the other games, Rocket League, Overwatch. You know, Flight Sim is a big one right now. I'd have to take time away from those just to play that for three or four hours and then get nothing out of the game. It's saying, you know, I get to chill out with you and hang out with you for a while. But, like, we can go do and play War Thunder. Or we can go play, you know, Here's the Storm is another good one. But that's going to have to, that's going to be one of those times where it's going to be on, like, a wacky Saturday stream. Where I'm not definitely saying, okay, Tuesday, 9 to 4, I'm streaming Air sim, or a Flight Sim. Yeah. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all 9 to 4. I'm streaming Flight Sim. Right now, since it's Christmas break, my streams are from noon to nine. Because I can do it. I don't have my kid. I don't have any, you know, it's all, it's, it's great. Right? <laughs> but when my kid goes back, it's back to nine to four and then the occasional Saturday stream. And yeah. that's so I can actually do stuff. Now, if you want to do stuff at night, I am going to be setting up another time uh, from seven or eight o'clock to midnight and that's something that you know you can decide whether to me i can get in for four hours and just play and that's that that's on um any night oh, okay but, but monday gotcha and sunday i'm i'm kind of trying to i'm trying not to stream or anything i'll play but like i won't i'll be ready to jump up if my wife wants to do something kind of thing um, cause I do this all, you know, I do this all day. Yeah. Uh, I don't have the job like you. Um, but like, if you want to, like I said, if you want to, that's fine with me. I'll do it anytime you want, but I don't want to sit there and wait. Hey, let me go have a, like, even me, I won't go have a cigarette. I'm, I got a vape, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, most people, I know you do it and you, know, you go three or four hours without a cigarette and then you're ready to go. That's all the time is, is four hours. It's eight to midnight. Midnight, I'm telling, all right, guys, thanks for watching the stream. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and I'm done. I'm leaving. Yep. I don't stay online and talk anymore. Like, tonight, we're good. I can chill out for a little bit and chill, chit chat with you afterwards. But, like, I just don't do that anymore. Ah! And, of course, like well, clockwork, look who, look who decided to show up. <laughs> that scrub war kid? <laughs> No, this is War Shot, not War Kid. That actually is a War Kid. They're completely different people. <laughs> war Kid sounds pretty good. Mark 1V. I think he's still messing with something. It's like, one of, like I hear all his background. He, probably, he always does that. He's just messing with something in the background. And it's like, oh, yeah. he's here. Everett is here. Yeah, he is. Now he's gone. Oh, man. Man, that sounds good. Uh... He's back. He's gone. Oh, he's probably adjusting something. See, the I love the division. The only problem with the division is, like, you need to have a lot of time to really enjoy it. Like, at minimum, you need two hours to complete a, a good activity, you know. Beyond just doing dailies, those are usually pretty straightforward. But, like, if you want to do, like, incursions or, or uh, multiplayer, I guess you could do, you know, survival. I mean, it's all telling most but I mean, like, much PvP. Fun. It's not that much to do. I'm saying, no, what, what I'm lot. saying is, I it's understand a there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do. Yes, 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 yes. But at the same time, even me doing the same thing every single day and going to fly from, you know, Detroit to Flint, everybody knows I do that flight because of the money. All right, we got a bigger plane. All right, guys, we're going to start going back and forth. We're going to start flying packs now, see if we can get our rating way up there. You know, there's something, you know, it's the same thing. I just, I don't know. Obi-Wan Kenobi. 
That is a name I've not heard in such a long time. War Kid MK15. <laughs> What's up, brother? Uh, we need a drink in order to cover all the shit I got going on, and I don't even drink. You sound like you're in a can. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get used to this new microphone. Hang on. Oh! Yeah, 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 uh, cause he's he's got a yeti. So the yeti, if you don't, if you don't talk to it, right, like next to it, it's it's a side address microphone. And you gotta set it on the dial. Um, set it to the little one that looks like a like a little blob. Do you play War Thunder? You mean this one? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not better. Okay, yeah, can, if you said it's omnidirectional and it's just one person, it's gonna pick up all the the acoustics in your room. It's super sensitive. I said it. I said it to the one that looks like a butt. Yeah, the butt. That's the one you want. Yep. Yes. All right. Yeah. Give it a dance. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So, Yogi, War Thunder. Are you talking about War Thunder on Steam on PC, right? Yes. Okay. You know, there's tanks and everything too, right now, right? Oh yeah, they have the naval battle too. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I don't want to start life. getting back into this damn game. <laughs> I remember because we had War Thunder, we had World of Warships, we had yeah. Yeah, that's that's what happened. Like, that that was the problem is that War Thunder ended up introducing all the different types, you know, land, sea, air, yeah, and so then War Thunder has all three now. Yeah. But then they have the games that where it's it's just strictly that we were playing World of Tanks and World of Warship, blah blah blah. It's like, oh my god, which game do you stick with? <laughs> There's so many. Like like I said, I'm down to fly and yes, yeah, I'll say it again. I'm down to fly and flight sim. I have several different economies that I use. Like I have Air Hauler Two, which is a paid FS economy, which is a free um <clears throat> But you have to do it a certain way or you're going to go broke and never play the game again. Um, hey. And then I have like little things like uh, the FS Cloud, which is, you know, you can see other people. It's kind of like a multiplayer setting to where you guys can do flights together and all that other stuff. Oh, well, that sounds kind of cool. It is. It's great. Like I said, if you want to play it, I will get it for you. Even the air hauler, too. Oh. Mm, it's a tempting proposition, but as you see by my list, I have uh, some daunting tasks ahead. <laughs> so, so, uh, Mr. Everett, since you're uh, rolling in here late, and we we're actually looking to wrap it up soon. Yeah, I had a feeling. I mean, at least it wasn't <laughs> as bad as the last time, you know? No, no. Because last time, last time I was here, it's like, <laughs> good night, folks. Yeah, you literally came in. And as we were doing the outro, all I heard was your usual background noise, like, bloop, and, like, whatever you were messing with in the background, and, yeah, and then we ended the show, and I, I thought it was hilarious. Like, <laughs> like, you got it down to the second. Oh, my God. I, I kind of messed up, because I, I thought I was getting off at 10 o'clock tonight, but then I started thinking about it. I'm like, wait a minute. No, I'm 10 to 2, or um, 2 to two o'clock to 10.30, so... And then the bus and all sorts of other shit happen, and you know, work. I, I figured, I, I figured, What's but that? uh, so so we had yeah. we had two main topics tonight. We were talking about our holiday hauls, so uh, you know, stuff you got for Christmas that was cool. And, and that then more child guy was late. That was the other topic. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm I'm sorry. I'm paying bills. I'm not even gonna get into it. Let, let, let Come it go, on, man. Really? Come on. Nah, it, it ain't. It ain't you, man. It ain't you. It's... Need what, that drink. Have you ever had to War child, yourself, especially to me. Come on. War child had one of those days. I could tell. <laughs> nah, yo, you know what's going on, man. It's, no, I know. I know. Trust me. It's, yeah. It ain't yeah. easy. It ain't easy being green. The outsider forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, cider now of, of geeky antics. I'm the one that pops up occasionally saying, Hey, what's up? See ya. Who's this guy again? Oh, Obi's the weird uncle that 
leaves he says, does lingering hugs and some occasionally brushes up against your butt by accident. Hey, up, damn it! <laughs> you said uh, said his oh, name is it. Old B. Shut your mouth. Is that like a, a rapper or something? Old B. Obi Wan Kenobi, sweetheart. Old B. Obi Trice. I forgot about him. I was I was here back when we first started back about three years ago. You shoved. Him. <laughs> Did you see? Tell me you saw the new Star Wars. Not yet. Mm, I ain't Don't gonna ruin nothing. I ain't gonna spoil nothing. I, I, I'm uh. I definitely being teased because like I got Star Wars themed gifts. I got a bunch of those uh, Star Wars shells and like those were our stocking stuffers along with some other doodads and I'm like man everywhere I turn is Star Wars like ah oh, I need to I get to get I need to get on it. Um, it I, I will only tell y'all this much. Nope. Um, no, no, hang on, it's not a spoiler, but just don't go in there expecting it to be your typical Star Wars. Oh, interesting. Makes noises when he gets here, and now he's freaking eating chips. Really? That's, that would mean to stop. I'm eating some pork rinds. <laughs> mm, smells. Like, it sounds like the barbecue uh, barbecue flavor. Yes. Actually, no salt and vinegar. Yeah. When I'm drinking, I like salt and vinegar. But I just want that to eat it for fun. No, it's good. It goes so well with with beer. It's like had... lemon flavored. It's like lemon flavored scrotum. What the? <laughs> what? Pet, Not like cool. Fire experience or what? <laughs> no, I don't. I just imagine the texture of a a pork rind and then you know lemon on it. Nasty bastard. Because a oh pork rind gotta look like a scrotum. You're eating pig ball, hog mouths. Hey, yo, you see, he's trying to make excuses now, right? I mean, like, wait, wait, wait. I wasn't I mean, talking about balls. I'm, sorry. I'm not making the excuse. Look, whenever you lick mine, though, but you didn't say anything. You said it tasted like lemon. That's how I know. I mean, damn. I told you it's going to taste like chocolate. I guess I lied to you. <laughs> oh, my Good God. Good back, brother. My, ball, my, my mouth on your balls. So, so hey. You no, left your for it. <laughs> by the grace of my cock, I was blessed by thine lips. I love it. I, I wanna, <laughs> I, I wanna say, by the way, hey, isn't um, that a quote from Lord, or, uh, Isn't that a quote from uh, Harry Potter? I watched it. <laughs> what? No, it's not Harry Potter. <laughs> what? It's the show on HBO. Uh, okay. Um, Game of Thrones. I don't think that's a no. It yeah, sounds like it could have been the little stubby Lannister. Uh, <laughs> stubby Lannister. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the, the, the dwarf. He Peter said it to a, he Peter said Tyrion. 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 Tyrion, right? Yeah. Or, yeah. He yeah. said it to a whore. He goes, "May your presence, may my pre- your, your presence be something by the shaft of my cock or something." <laughs> oh, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I just got done watching that. As the Best fucking show I've ever seen. I love it. Dragons. Oh, and so much ass. And that, oh, dude, but now you gotta wait freaking two, three Man, years before the next ass. season comes out. Ugh. I heard uh, they were. I think they're gonna split the season. That's what I heard. But I heard I don't know that, which. Yeah, they, were get, they were gonna get the first, uh, first uh, what nine or seven episodes done, right? Or eight episodes done? Yeah, fast, something like that. They were gonna take like a six month break. Mm-hmm. We'll see. <laughs> Getting tired of showing my ass. I got hot and cold flashes on both cheeks. Oh, man. <laughs> Sound like something Billy Crystal would say. <laughs> so, hey, so hey, uh, Mr. Warchild, I, uh, I picked up The Surge. And I got to say, that's the, one I, that's the one I, that I was talking about. I had like the roguelike thing going on, kind of oh. like Dark Souls, but a sci-fi style. Oh, I thought it was like you got the mech suit or whatever, and whenever you destroy your enemies, you can take their pieces. Or yeah, but it's a lot yeah. more than that because it's basically Dark Souls, in the, you know, with the sci-fi, you know, setup. But then like there's Ooh. a little bit of Dead Space in there too, because dismemberment affects, um, you know, how the enemies attack and and what you get to loot. So like, if you completely destroy an enemy, you don't get that much loot, or you you might not get any loot at all. 
because you know I might dis- oh. disintegrate him or something. So this memberment plays a, a part. That, that we'll talk about it more next week. But as well as a backdrop, this is this is a game that's published by Focus Home Interactive, and these guys are, have a strong pedigree of publishing amazing games, including Obi's favorite, Farming Simulator. All right. They got uh, the Blood Bowl series and some of the other Warhammer games. That's what I'm talking about, Yogi. What? That's what I'm talking about right there. He just did it. What did he do? Laughing. Oh. Because I like simulators. That's the one. I mean, no, it's not that you like simulators. It's it's that you were dead to the world. You were dead to the world for like a good couple of minutes. Or not minutes, excuse me, months. Almost half a year. (laughs) Farming. It was like that. It was like that black flower. I can't remember the name of the flower, but it was like the black flower that you, um, that Superman had to endure, and it was the one that gave him good dreams. But you know, lo and behold, you pulled off him. He had to come back to reality. That's pretty much what farm or farm simulator was to you. <laughs> I'll wait till you start seeing me in flight sim. Oh god. Oh god, flight sim. I've been playing flight sim for almost three or four days, and I've put some miles and some hour like streaming like crazy. But hey, Obi, hold on. I, I, I want to share some more of the games you guys made. They make okay, the ahead. they publish the Divinity series, which is amazing. Um, contrast, fun little, uh, very high, artistic style, style kind of game. If you, you know, the best way to describe it, I would say. Game of Thrones. Tell, tell C- Cities XXL. No, no, the Game of Thrones game proper, not the Telltale one. Um, proper. Yeah. Um, How much you know? Butt cheeks? I'm trying to think of some other big ones. Insurgency, you may have heard of that one. They, they, these guys, they, they have some good shit out there. So, highly recommend checking out the Surge. You can get a dirt cheap now. Um, as far as the Game of Thrones game, that was released in 2012. And if this, I'm not mistaken, this one, it's an RPG. It's uh, it's like third, it's like third person style. Hmm. Yeah. At, okay. They describe it as these are the key features: a grand action RPG offering an original story based on best-selling novels, a song of ice and fire of G.R.R. Martin. Uh, great hmm. graphics, thanks to the powerful Unreal Engine three. Uh, I visit familiar places and one on characters. Play as two charismatic characters with their own backgrounds and skills. And progress the way you choose. Get involved in epic... In, in, in epic no, this is bad to copy. Get involved into epic fights, really. Or try to... I don't want to get involved in an ethnic fight. That's that's kind of wrong, you know. <laughs> Sorry, bad copy is hard to read. Or solve explosive situations through dialogue. That's something Tyrion would do. <laughs> I think I'll slap you with my cock. Explosive. Explosive cock. <laughs> Watch your face. Uh, so anyway, focus interactive. So I want, once I get some more time into the surge, I'll oh, don't forget back about on that. the wine. <laughs> so he loves but, the wine for sure. But what's about the rum? Oh, rum has never been much for me. <laughs> the wine and the horse. <laughs> the horse? Like horse play live! Oh, callback. <laughs> Shock it, Trebek. Shock it hard. So, so, so we do gotta start wrapping up, Warchild, before we go off on more tangents. You have, <laughs> you have two choices. What? Horse play changed? It's not a tangent show anymore? Well, no, but we have a time <laughs> limit now, because Warchild decided to show up like with like 15 minutes left. Jeez. Well, no, we started it an hour and a half ago. So you Excuse know. me, I gotta make money to feed my big black ass. <laughs> Motherfuckers. But, but here, did, did, uh, you have a few minutes to, to share your holiday hauls and or games that you want to play for the purpose of cleaning out your fridge, i.e. making room in your hard drive. Go. I got nothing for you, kid. <laughs> Nothing? I mean, it's just... There's not a single game that you keep looking at your list and you're like, I'm so close to being that. I need to just 
beat this game so I can uninstall and make room in my fridge. I need to stop playing fucking Destiny 2. You need to stop, stop playing it? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, because it's, it's, it's just, it's so... Trash can, I know, say it. Repetitive? Uninspired? It's like, you know, you buy a, a sexy-ass sports car, and it says it'll go from zero to 60 in, like, I don't know, under a second. And you hop in the car, the sleek leather seats, you know, you're gripping the steering wheel, which is authentic leather, and you got the you know wood grain dash. The whole thing just looks sexy. You crank the car up, no keys, you know, get ready to take off. You hit that pedal. Car starts revving up, and then it just cuts off. That's what Destiny reminds me of. <laughs> You got that, that tight tingle in your balls, and you're like, oh, make you feel like a man, and then nothing. You're getting a boner talking about this, aren't you? <laughs> it would be a, if I was, it would be a, Destiny would be like a ruined orgasm for me. So Destiny is the equivalent of an old wrinkly-ass white lady in your head, right? No, the white lady could at least finish the job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Destiny 2 probably, I think, following that metaphor, I would say Destiny 2 is like really great sex that's ruined at the climax by some really awkward discussions. No, not even, not even awkward, but like, you know. Kid. No, no, I mean. Oh, fuck my dipsling. Or like, <laughs> or like just, you know, when you're that close and then randomly you get punched in the balls. <laughs> That's what it feels like. And the game looks it looks beautiful. It looks wonderful. It is the most awesome looking game I've seen to date right now. You know, granted there's other stuff out there, but you know, it's it's one that the function I like, I like the setup, I like the, the customization has gotten better, but once again it's the storyline and the fact that they keep jacking people around. It's like <laughs> your XP level's gonna go up normally just like <laughs> it usually does. <laughs> oh by the way, <laughs> PayPal um is accepted by Destiny. <laughs> so if you want these microtransactions, you can come get them. <laughs> yeah, get the fuck out of here with that. Now, now Everett remember we warned you this is what it's gonna be, so you kinda lost your ability to complain. <laughs> we, we did. You did warn me, but at the same time, I saw how how far the first Destiny progressed, and I was thinking to myself, okay, cool, so they are actually trying to make progress on this thing. I can get down with that. I can support this, and then all of a sudden, it's almost like they they just said, yeah, well, microtransaction, <laughs> you know what, uh, we'll worry about the storyline later. Let's just uh, focus on y'all paying us, and it's almost like they... If EA was the first one to, to mess up like this, I would say that Bungie, I'm not even going out on a limb and saying Activision, I'm just saying straight up Bungie, because as far as the producers and everybody else that are trying to make the same excuse for multiple different problems, and in the fact that um, when it was released, there was no October event, which is weird. You know, you had all that time to create the game. You could have easily made an October event, but yep. you, you shunned it. And then on top of that, the dawning comes around, and unlike last year, it's you're going around throwing snow cones at people. That's about it. And enemies. <laughs> and they're like, good job. You can throw snow cones. Here's a present for you. And when you open the present up, you only get two items. What kind of bullshit is that? Well, granted, you got to spend five, ten, twenty, fifty something dollars on the Eververse money, but it might as well be gambling. I mean, you need to give me like some lights and some sounds and the whole do -do 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 -do, and like coins coming out the machine so I can finally, <laughs> finally feel. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Obi, I like simulators too. I like gambling simulators that look like Destiny. Whatever. Because that's what that shit is. No, gamble like, sim. Like pieces of trash that have been recycled and remade. For basically the same purpose that Destiny 1 was for. Why you even bought it in the first place was just beyond me. How much time did they waste in Destiny 1 
telling everybody, oh, it's going to be this big. It's going to be this big. Yeah, we're going to do this, this, and this, this. And then they didn't start doing it till the very end. I mean, you'll, I mean, it's to the point where that was Yogi's Bay, bruh. That yeah. was Yogi's Bay. Like, no questions asked. If Yogi was online at all, he was playing Destiny 2 or Destiny. It, nope, I'm not playing this with you right now. I'm not playing this. I'm playing Destiny. That was his bay. If it was bad but, enough for him to leave, and this is not just for him. This is from the hundreds, hundreds of people that I saw on different multiple forums when it was mm-hmm. just at the end of Destiny 1. Those same people did the same thing you did. Oh, Destiny 2 is going to be better. It's gonna, No, it's not. All of us on the outside can see Destiny as well as Destiny 2 after that decline has been a trash can. Literally a fucking dumpster with some nasty ass bullshit in it or whatever kind of shit in it. It's just <clears throat> trash. And you guys fell into that trap. Like, ha, we made you spend 60 bucks again for another trash can game that we're going to recycle. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. That's the sad. I'm part of the problem too. But the reason I got it, it was on sale and my brother <laughs> and, and a bunch of other people got it. Well, I got it too. I got it too. It was given to me. Well, I mean, well, I have it for Blizzard. I don't. But, but I, I purchased it three times. Destiny one, I purchased it three times, and those purchases I do not regret because the game might have started out quote unquote bad or shitty, but at least it was entertaining. And even though there was content drought every now and then, they. Were might, they were moving forward with progress. Now, usually, whenever you have a program and you move forward with progress, you take that same mantra and apply it to your sequel. This is where they fucked up because the sequel is not anywhere near what Destiny 1 was. Because Destiny 1, they're like, we're sorry, we're going to fix it. We're sorry, we're going to fix it. This one's like, it was just, it was fucked up since the day one, even more so than Destiny. And that's, and, and that's the thing. That's the thing that. Now. Yes, that's the thing that confuses me. And I, I'll admit this: I will give it the until the uh, the second DLC, like I did Destiny, uh, the first one, because the second DLC, the House of Wolves, that one redeemed Destiny one for me. And if I can see that there's going to be progress, then yes, I will stay hitched to that boat. But for the time being, and the way that things are going, and how things are fucked up, and how the experience, uh, the, the leveling itself is going, because on one hand, okay, the Eververse, I can understand. You don't want to give too many people um, too many Ingrams because of the fact that you don't want everybody to have everything unlocked. And, you know, There's not enough vault space and everything. It's basically, do you want to keep people in the sandbox over here? You don't want them to have everything. I can understand that. But don't fucking lie to everybody. Because at the end of the day, the community that got you this far is the community that's going to keep pushing you. And if you push that community down as you try and rise, you're going to sink with them, which is why we're at the, the place we're at now. Well, that's what they've done when they first they, I mean, they pushed it down, and that community is sitting there going like everybody else is going. So, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say I'm going to use you and me because it's easier this way. <laughs> Mm-hmm. If you are the person that is going in, you're getting in this game, you're like, oh, it's going to be better, it's going to be better. They promise this. And if I'm sitting here on the outside saying, nope, they're going to do the same thing. I've already seen it. Multiple people will say the same thing, blah, blah, blah. Nah, you guys are just mad because they're of something, you know, whatever, right? And then we sit there and still see what's happening, that they're still screwing you guys over, but you guys that are just in love with the game don't see the actual problem because you guys are in love with the game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I, I did like the game in the beginning, you know, and I was looking forward to whatever else they had that was going to come out. And then, you know, here we go. How do you have a winning, a winning program, right? And then you just you go and you fuck it up. I can well, understand just, that. That's the same thing Blizzard did when they made uh, um, when they made um, Mr. Pandaria. Mm. Uh, <laughs> we're bringing that Honestly. one back. <laughs> <laughs> but the sad thing I mean, about think that, about that, it. It, that, but that this is the, the funny thing because other companies they can learn from their mistakes. Like when Diablo three came out, and Activision was like, 
charge the hell out of them. Don't let anybody get any unique items. And if they do, make sure they charge cash. And eventually they were like, okay, this isn't going to work. We're just going to switch back to what we usually do best. You just take a seat in the back, play with your little doll. You know, if you want a cookie, we'll hand it to you every now and then. But just let us handle the adult stuff, okay? And it worked out better. I could easily hop on right now and play Diablo 3 and be, and be happy like it was the first time I ever played it. Yep. That's how a game should be. If, you, if your game will stand the test of time... <laughs> that's that's how it should be, man. Well, I mean, I mean, and I'm not trying to toot my own horn, and you can you can find the truth in it somewhere. But that's why simulators are are as as steady as you as they are, because it's a it's a niche it's a niche a, a niche group of people that play these games. Mm -hmm. Yes. People say, like, you might like simulators, Yogi might like simulators, but you guys are not going to play simulators as much as I am. I live on simulators. Like, I'm, I will go to my, you know, my, 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 my air, airline company, right? Mm -hmm. And I'll do the same thing, and I'll act like, okay, it's my business, okay? I need to fly here, here, and here to make this much money to actually pay for the fuel, blah, 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 blah. And I'll do all that. It's just like my farm. I need to harvest this much to get this much in, in stock. So when we have a price jump, I can sell everything and, you know, and, and it's just, it's a business. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it, it, it's one of those things where you had, that is another game. It's an MMO and it's one of those games where yes, it's an MMO. So people have to, that's going to like, it's going to need to like MMOs to be able to grind and do all this other stuff. Plus it's going to, it's more like a, isn't it like a first person shooter type? Isn't that what it is, right? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. We'll call it that. I'm, I'm asking. <laughs> I'm asking you what it is. Yeah, I'm telling you, that's what it's supposed to be. Because <laughs> I mean, it's 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 called trash to me. So I don't know what it. I mean, is it it's first? I mean, shoot, right? what what uh, Bungie describes that as a shared world shooter. Uh, but yeah, it is first person shooter. It's okay, so it's like, advanced. So it's like Warframe. It's like Warframe with guns. Got it. No. I mean, no, Warframe is, is, is fair comparison. It, Warframe is no, Warframe is good. No, no, Warframe, Warframe is way better just because it had a lot more content, you know. Yeah, but that's just, the, it's, it's that it's kind of game just with guns. Because you go into different things, you, whether you're going to a dungeon or you're going into a facility to clear it out like you're on Warframe. It's the same thing. It's just like, wow. It has dungeons. It has this. It has, uh, you know, arenas. You can do PvP. You can do the. It, it's exact. It's a MOBA. It's mm -hmm. a multiplayer battle. No, not a MOBA. It's a. It's a. Um. A MOBA. MMO. Yeah. It's not a multiplayer Mabu. online. Massive multiplayer yeah. online. That's what it is. That's what. Mm -hmm. That's what they made it for. Some mm -hmm. people like those. Some people don't. Mm -hmm. You're right. But they fucked it up still. Okay, I'm done. Yep. <laughs> had to get that up. You had one job. One. And you fucked it up. Somebody clip that. You had one job. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll be a good soundboard edition. Yeah, mm. get it. <laughs> get it for next time. That's all you're going to hear is, you know. Uh, and welcome, War Child. <laughs> yeah, War Child. <laughs> yeah, and then that comes on. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be his stand-in when he doesn't show up. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, and you could go, welcome to the show, War Child. How you doing, buddy? And all of a sudden, you had one you job. You had one job. <laughs> well, we know how he's feeling today. <laughs> he's not with us right now. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. That makes you think of uh, that that video that they put together with Samuel L. Jackson. All the freaking fucks he ever he Mother, ever. Motherfucker, yeah, that was uh, priceless. <laughs> it's like, damn, there's a lot of them. <laughs> My favorite meme is the one that's got him laughing, and then it says, uh, "What is it? Last motherfucker leader something." <laughs> <laughs> What's our time frame here, yo? No, I think we're going to wrap here. There's a good stopping point before we get off on another tangent. But uh, <laughs> we, we could pick up here next week and uh, 
Depend depending who can make it. This is our non-committal answer. We should be jumping into the unicorn poopies. We're gonna we're just gonna probably open it up with just the video game award winners and kind of our thoughts on them, who should have won, and who we would have picked. You know. Etc. See, what did I say last year around this time? Yeah, I was about to say, as Obi has a flashback. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> no, no. We already addressed the. We're going to keep it a lot more simple this year. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> um, you look up, even with Taylor hopped on, he's like, oh, God, we're still doing this shit. Fuck this. <laughs> um, we're still doing it a year later. I'm just get done so we can start over. Um, no, uh, that shit with, done dry it up. <laughs> with me, dude, all you gotta do is just is hit text me, man. Hit me up with a text. Hey, are you coming? And tell me what time. I just I've got everything most of my day, every single day of the week, planned out. Um, unless it's just like a free, no wife, no kid kind of thing. Um, but like everything is planned out so I can maximize my game time, my stream time, and time with my wife. Because if I don't do that, you know what happens. So, um. <laughs> Got to make sure she has her time, and then I can maximize my time because I'm I'm shooting for if I can get it done, which I think I'm too late already this month. I was shooting for a, a affiliate button by January first, nice. so I'm shooting for February first. Uh, depends on if they do it for like a month start to a month end. I don't know how they how they do it or what, but um, I'm trying to stream at least, and I have a good game to stream because I could care less if nobody's there watching me fly a plane. Like, I have I have the people, especially over the because I stream from nine to three, right or nine to four, a.m. Mm -hmm. Eastern time. A lot of people hey. watch me at work or on their lunch break, and then a lot of Europeans watch me because they want to fly with me. So oh, it's perfect. Right. So, um, but no, other than that, that's that's what I'm doing. If you just give me, let me know what day and time, and I'll tell you yes or no. If I could be there, and then you have to remind me again. That's the whole thing, Yogi, because you know I will forget. I know, I know. I gotta stay on top of y'all. Crack the whip. Well, on a Thursday, I'll... <laughs> I'm just busy, bro. <laughs> I, I understand. I'll be uh, back on my normal schedule next Thursday. <clears throat> I only had to uh, go in today because uh, somebody... You know how those days are. Whenever you don't use them, you lose them. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so I had to go in cause, so somebody could use their days. Yep, yep. I kind of hate that policy, but I get it. People abuse the system and started stockpiling their days off. <laughs> I know a guy that hasn't missed work, and he's been to work every single day, never taking a vacation day in 10 years. And they finally made him take, like, two months off with pay. Like, everything was paid. And he's like, I'm not taking two months off. And he, she, he goes, why? It's your vacation time. I'm not getting paid for something I'm not working. Like, he's old school. I just had a flashback to the Shawshank Redemption and that old guy that was named Brooks when he got out. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm thinking. That he he's gonna go work at a grocery store for the next two months. Yeah, no, like he 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 he'll go get a part time job. He went he goes and gets a part time job at a local grocery store that he know you know the owner of the grocery store he knows him you know he's that old. Um Same. and. And he goes and he goes in stocks, or he goes and unloads trucks. Like he guys like seventy years old, but will not like they're gonna force him to retire next year. And he's like, I'm still gonna go to. I say, just go to Walmart. He goes, I don't like fucking talking to people. You know, he's gonna be the type of dude that's gonna like sneak into work, and people are gonna forget for for, for a, a good five minutes. All of a sudden, they're gonna look. Fred, he's gonna be like the guy in Office Space or in Office. <laughs> uh, the what's that? What's that? Uh, I, I haven't been. I haven't been paid in 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 in, in, in you know the guy in the basement <laughs> with the red stapler. Uh, I'm you, yeah, I'm gonna need you to come in on Saturday. Yeah, uh, yeah I I I haven't been paid in 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 in, in two years, and and I need. Maybe uh, you have my stapler. Uh, somebody stole my stapler. Uh, can I have a stapler, please? <laughs> Says, yeah. I believe you have my stapler. <sighs> anyway, poor guy. <laughs> I'll get it started. You guys can find me, of course, anywhere you see Obi One X Two, O B I O N E X Two, Twitch TV, uh, Instagram, Facebook. Actually, not Facebook anymore. Screw that. And um, 
Uh, <laughs> what else is there? Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, uh, and then my YouTube starting. My YouTube page is starting up here uh, at the beginning of the year. We're gonna be doing one video a week uh, just to get nice. it going. So, you guys, come see me. Uh, we're streaming almost every day. Um, to get that affiliate button, we need to start making some money. Mama's orders. Mm-hmm. Word. I feel you, brother. How about you, War Child? Where can we find you? You can find me at WarchildGames.com. You can find me on Twitch, WarchildMark4, M K I V. Uh, Twitter, at WarchildGames. And there's also at Warbound Radio. And as far as Warbound Radio, you can check us out on SoundCloud.com slash Warbound Radio. Uh, tune in next week on Wednesday. Uh, we're going to talk about this new, not really new, but this whole issue as far as gaming being a mental disorder. You know, somebody was. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. The World they Health. Throw that out there, but they never really put any description. The World Health Organization has officially said that the. They're going to acknowledge as a uh, disorder. Mental, yeah. I'm going to talk about it. That's, uh, yeah. I I think I I might have to make an appearance on your show that night. Yeah, that's... uh, uh, He's like, all right, but you don't want me on there. Uh, I'm going to, yeah. Is it like like talk, like, is it like this show? Like, I can talk however the hell I want? I don't see why the fuck you can't. Oh! (laughs) Whoa! What part of Warbound Radio did you not understand? <laughs> you never know. You might be yeah. like, you know, a Hello Vietnam. He got censored too. Yeah. War, war nah. Child is, as the youngins say, lit. <laughs> I keep it real, man. I mean, we, me and my, uh, my uh, professor, well, he's, he's my friend, but he used to be my college professor, uh, Bernard. We actually uh, did a show yesterday, and uh, we were talking about the whole sexual assault thing. Is the patriarchy crumbling or dying? You know, just it got pretty deep. Okay. You know, be hitting them topics. Producing anyway. some dank ass memes. Word. <laughs> Last <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm Yogi Zilla everywhere. Uh, mainly these days on Xbox Live and Twitter. But uh, coming soon to a Steam near you. Play your cards right, wink, wink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he that ain't gonna happen because I've been trying to get him on Steam for years. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I've been that long. <laughs> How long have I known you for, Yog? Come Listen, on. You better, I used you better to be, say the right amount of years. Or I'm I, gonna slap you. I used to be hardcore about the Steam. I had, so I, had I had to make a choice. Happy his knees, and we had to turn the butter back then. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that's it. That's that's how you know it's time. when 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 War Charles is going to his old timey voice. It, it's time to call her to call her a rap. Oh my lord! Anyway, folks, we'll see you next week for episode two eleven and uh, the New Year seven eighteen. Yeah. Wait, did you did you do your? You didn't tell everybody where they could find you. I did. You did. You, did? you turned off your ears at that point, didn't you? I, did. uh, I was thinking about turning the butter back uh, like it was in my child. Anyway, <laughs> goodbye, everybody. Oh. And remember, Pepper Fry <laughs> remembers. Yeah, the fuck we do. Bye. Well, one last thing. One last thing. One last thing. And then Obi, you can yeah. do your bye again. And we're back. We do have our, our poll <laughs> up. We do have our poll up. Geekyazix.net. <laughs> Make sure you do it. Vote for your favorite in the hashtag Kelly versus Ke- Kelly debate. It'll make sense when you oh read the article. Oh my god, you're still you're still doing that, Bundy. You gotta promote it. You gotta promote Bundy. it. That's Vote been like Bundy. hasn't that been going on for like a year now? No, like, nah. It, it started a couple of months ago, but it's still epic, and it's like Clash of the Titans right now. Yeah, plus Santa. Kelly versus Kelly is in like Kelly Kapowski versus Kelly Bundy. Yo, yeah, but I never, last, I never put the official poll. Last po- year, bro. No, it wasn't last year. Yes, it was. It Maybe was we rehashed year. it, but this year we actually have a formal poll on the blog <laughs> at geekyantics.net. I got a poll too. Doesn't mean I'm gonna. <laughs> I mean, as a survey, not as a thing between your legs, you weirdo. As a service. Survey. <laughs> My goodness. Service. That's because it. 
We're getting out of here. See you guys next week. Bye. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>